Hey you guys, I come before you today with a comparison um, review with uh, between Havana hair, my finger comber, the Havana twist hair, Marley braid hair, and acrylic yarn for the genie locks. Okay, I hope to make this short and sweet because I have a book that I want to get back to. It is really good called The Book of Night Women. And I'm almost done with it. I have a stack of books I got to get through, so let's get to it. Anyway, um, pretty much I want to compare with you cost, uh, moisture, hold, if you will, um, longevity, usability, ease of use, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's start first with the Havana hair by Finger Comer. It comes in this. This is one bulk. This bulk was... $13. That's $12.99 plus shipping. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This is how long it is. So if you did twist, if it stayed stretched, it would potentially be about this long. Okay. Um, here is also the Marley braid hair. You see how long it is. compared to the Havana hair. Marley braid hair in my neck of the woods is $4.99 a pack. So let's just say $5 plus tax a pack. And then you have a skein of acrylic yarn, which is $5 for this entire skein at my local craft store, okay? What I have to say in terms of, okay, so that's the price, okay? In terms of the moisture, when I used, I wore my Genie Locks, the acrylic hair or the acrylic yarn locked in the moisture excellently. I did not have to worry about my hair um, drying out or didn't have to worry about the acrylic yarn and acrylic, not wool, but acrylic. Didn't have to worry about it sucking up all the moisture. If I skipped a couple days, my hair was sure to still be moisturized. Um, let's see what else. For me, the preparation and if, like if I want hair like long as this, you know, I'm going to have to, I think I used four strands of this yarn. I used the whole skein to do um, my head, okay? And I used four strands because I wanted them chunky like this. Um, the preparation for me was a little irritating. That was the hardest part in terms of measuring and cutting and then going along the length of the yarn to moisturize it. And at the time, I was using this stuff here. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, when you weigh everything, it's not bad. You, you're talking about $5 here. Um, a few extra minutes, I would say maybe an hour or two to, pr to prep the yarn. Maybe you do it the day before, whatever, and you just have it stretched out. Um, and it lasted a while. Now, my issue is the same with all of them. The extension or the enhancement tends to slip down the length of my hair. So I'm thinking maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Uh, usually I'll stretch my hair out, you know, I'll wash, condition, whatever, and braid it so that it's stretched when I go in to put, you know, install the um, extensions. So maybe I have it too stretched and so the kink is out and the stuff starts to slip. But that's the, the yarn. Marley braid hair, um, I, that's what I have in now. I'm really enjoying it. I do have the slippage. Um, but what I noticed is that um, this hair is very tight, kinky, coily, and, and coarse. Uh, more coarse than my hair, so I do have a concern with it eating up the moisture. So I tend to just stay on top of I just really over moisturize, especially like down in this area where I know the ends of my hair is. I'll just continue to moisturize, moisturize, and treat my scalp. Okay. Um, like I said, five dollars a pack to do this after I took out that second set of strands that I told you about before um, it actually took two and a half packs to do my whole head so really that's not bad so you're looking at ten dollars you don't have prep because it's already there okay and then you're done 
The only thing you want to make sure you stay on top of is moisturizing. Okay, the Havana hair gives you a puffier twist, $13, uh, they say you can reuse it, you can reuse all of it, quite frankly, um, I wouldn't want to reuse the, the yarn, but you can still reuse the Marley hair. Um, Finger Comber is a company um, of naturals who created this hair and everything on their website for naturals, so they're naturals creating product for naturals. And I'm not quite sure why it's so much more expensive. It's not human hair. It is also synthetic hair. Um, but what I noticed is that when you apply oil, any type of moisturizer, it automatically is not as drying as the Marley braid hair. Not nearly. It's puffy. It looks very natural. Um, when you go to moisturize it, it shines. It looks very good in your hair. Uh, my issue was was the price after I realized that it's not different enough from the Marley hair I'm like well also let me double back once you install these the Marley the yarn and the finger comber hair you have to they say you have to dip it in hot water etc etc and so forth with the finger comber hair you can dip it you can actually wear twists outs twist outs with this but my issue is that you have to run a hot dryer over it or, you know, it will not maintain the twist out. It unravels and everything else. So for me, it didn't do, um, I guess I expected it to be magical, you know. Hey, this hair is created by naturals for natural. So yeah, I expected not to have to wet it and run a dryer over it. Or you can just put styling product in it, but you still have to run a dryer over it in order for it to set and that could take forever okay um, with the yarn you dip the yarn in the hot water so that it loosens up and it swings nice like that that's why you dip the yarn otherwise it's gonna look just like Raggedy Ann like it'll look like yarn once you dip the yarn it looks more like locks okay from a distance hence genie locks I guess that's why they call it that um, and like I said it swings more it t oh the braids tighten also with the Marley hair I have no idea why you dip it maybe for similar reasons but it does not seal the ends for me the ends can still unravel I can easily undo these which is a good thing these aren't unraveling right now, but I still don't know the point in dipping the Marley hair. I just do it because I think you should. I've heard everybody else say, you know, to do it. So why not? I'll do it. No big deal. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Overall, for price and um, value, I say yarn braid hair. You're not going to get the, with the yarn braid hair, you're not going to get the Senegalese twist look necessarily, but you can still twist your hair. You can like wear the yarn, um, the yarn twisted or braided. I prefer to braid it at the top at least and then twist down the length versus, because like I said, I have, it slips out. Oops. It slips out too easily, you know. But um, I thought that this was a it was a good idea to come in and let you guys know. So if you're trying to consider a protective style um, that'll last you a while, you know, you have something to work with. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna find something to do with this finger comber hair. Um, I got one and a half bulks left, packs left, and I'm gonna find something doggone it to do with this. 13 14 dollar hair what I don't know if you have any suggestions let me know um, and I guess that's it if you have questions about this let me know too because I'm sure I'm forgetting something but I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys in the next video